welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming at you right after the break. First pitch moments away on the hill here today. Shota Imanaga. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go. Shohei Otani up to the dish. The wind of the pitch. Fastball for a strike. And we are underway. That one ripped. And that gets down in the corner. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was ends and get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Here's Mookie to hit. Late on that fastball. Betts is definitely one of those guys that excels at everything he does, Boog. In terms of baseball, he can do it all. He's won World Series, batting titles, gold gloves, and everything else you can think of. Paredes That's fires enough. over to first. And Betts is set down. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That's in there. It's 0-1. He's trying for third. Swing and a miss. Throw to third. He's safe. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. The 2 Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two down. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Max no Muncy. Right. Here comes the 0-1. No, that's the ball. Muncy hits one in the air. Bellinger makes the play and it's out number three one left for L.A. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score back. At back here with my pal Siggy and getting to start Shohei Otani. How about a report on him Chris. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping Where hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Tosses to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. One down. There comes Cody Bellinger. A swing and a miss, and that's strike oh. one. Otani, a former all-star. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Oh. And ball one. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. On the ground to third. Slings to first. And Bellinger is out. Batting third. The right, the right field. field. Two outs, space is empty. And the batter now, Seiya Suzuki. That's down and in. 
One ball. Two no outs, bases empty. All Next right. offering is in for a strike. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. That one, one finds the zone. That's strike two. And down on strikes. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. Scoreless after one. Top of the second. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. And a pitch. That smash towards center. Bellinger makes the catch for the end. And there's one down. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And a foul ball. Hernandez, in his seventh season, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. On the ground, a third. Paredes zips it across, and Hernandez is out. Batting seven. The center center field. Field. Number yeah, here five. comes Tommy Edmond. Tommy Edmond. Edmond. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Suzuki running hard for it. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And bottom of the inning, leading off in half. Otani back to work. Cubs yeah. made Ian Happ a first-round pick oh, wow. in 2015. He played at the University of Cincinnati as an infielder. Played a oh, little bit of outfield, but a guy in 2022. Oh, what a year, Chris. Both an all-star and a gold glover. 0-2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Yeah, and wins that gold glove as a left fielder. And it's a guy that was a pretty good center fielder as well. But you know, one of the things for him is just being able to be in the same spot every day. I think it increases the comfort level that and allows is. that athletic ability to really shine. Isaac Paredes now. Oh, and that's outside. And it's 1-0. One 1-0. Oh. One oh. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Ball. That one almost got him. 3 1. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Down base is empty. And he hits a ground ball right side. A flip to the pitcher covering. And that quickly two away. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Mark. Here's Mike Tockman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball. No strike. On the ground. Whips it to first on the run. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started at the play. Miguel Rojas. Here comes a pitch. Chop to third. Paredes. Zips it to first. And one away at the top of the third. And now it's Gavin Lux. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. In time to push. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The Here's Shohei Otani. Let off this game with a double. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that extends the inning. 
Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we're back. Set for the bottom of the third. So up now for Chicago, Michael Bush. Strike one. And here it comes. Oh, I count one and two. Really good take, especially one, two. two strikes. That one way inside. Right-hander kicks deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And the pitch. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Nice grab on the run. One down. Dansby Swanson stands in. Just missed. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. Oh. The shortstop takes the ball. That one fouled off. two outs that's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across especially in terms of movement I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment he keeps it down it's just so tough to pick it up sharp grounder that's through for a base hit here's Nico Horner over one so far Nico that oh. one's in there on one. Man, I mean, nice job to it actually was. Amaya leads off first with two down to the inning. That to right. That settles underneath it. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to inning number four. We're nothing, nothing. Field. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead Freddie Freeman. As the lefty gets to work. And the first to put it bluntly need to put together more competitive at bats and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early being aggressive but one or two pitches Out. later the at bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits. so they might want to be a little more selective up there. Here comes Max Muncy. One thing with Max Muncy and it'll be interesting to see what he throws here. He hammers the fastball. Swanson in plenty of time to first two quick outs here in the top of the four and up to the plate is Will Smith he's over one swing and a base hit around first and hustling for second the throw in throws off target as he slides in with a double anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let the ball travel and you took the ball straight to it that's great work right there runner in scoring that's position done. now and a good opportunity to push across no the first run of What's the ball right? game the pitch 
Hard hit left side. Jump throw. They get the out. And that'll do it. Back here at Wrigley Field. Ready to go. Bottom four. Bellinger up to hit. The pitch. That clips the corner. There's a ball. Hit in the air, right field. Playable Betts makes the grab, and there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. And the right hander deals. And a big swing and a miss. From a pitcher's perspective, no that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Ian Happ up to hit. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, one. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And Ball, a good eye there. Down. No, outside. outside. Three and one. Oh, well, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Righty delivers. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And the Cubs are down in order. Still no score. Back here at the friendly confines. Here's the center fielder, Tommy Edmond. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Edmond, a former gold glove winner, 28 years old. And he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2016. One, one. Next pitch way upstairs. And that one is lifted in the air. Suzuki has a beat on it. Brings it in. And a quick out number one. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Grounded out his first time. In the air, right side. Suzuki has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. And next for L.A., Gavin Lux. Grounded out to short in his first trip. To the right side. Horner over to first. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Isaac Paredes. That's the ball. And that one's a little bit low. One and that's ball one. You know, these Cubs just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened oh. for them yet. Swing and a miss. Looked off one balance ball. that time. One hit to right. Bet settles underneath it. Corrals it. And there's one away. Mike Tockman getting ready to hit. He's over one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. You'll one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So digging in, Michael Bush. Fly to right his first time. Ball no, one, no strikes. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. 
Two outs. Strike two. Swing and a ball popped up. Muncie settles under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs, and we are still all set for the top of the sixth. And now the DH, Shohei Otani. Shota back to work. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that one's gone into the bleachers. That'll fire up the dugout, and they slide in front in the sixth. It's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Here's Mookie Betts now. All lifted to center field. Bellinger settles it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. It to stay in the hit. Going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. And that gets down for a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you... He's in there! Runners on the corners with one gone. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. One for two. Fall off foul. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. That's a base hit. Runner from third, in to score. It's 2-0. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his... Now on the bump, Nate Pearson. Pretty tight game, so we're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Hernandez in the box again, takes a strike. Two on, one out. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. And they lead by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Smith at second, Hernandez at first, one gone. And look out ah, as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Next to hit, Miguel Rojas. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One runs in. Fires to third. Save! Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now at the plate, Gavin Lux. To the right side. To second for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. So the lineup flips over. 
And now here is Shohei Otani. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. That's the third on to Horner. And they're happy to just get off the. Well, we go bottom six. And here is Dansby Swanson, the right hander back to work. There's the strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think ball. keeping the mindset to attack instead of One trying ball. to be too One fine strike. and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. In the air, right field. Betts makes the grab. One down. And now it's Miguel Amaya. One for one with a single so far. Foul ball. Not a lot of people know this, but this isn't the only Wrigley Field in MLB history. You know, when the league expanded and added the Los Angeles Angels in 1961, they played their first season at a stadium in L.A. called Wrigley Field, which had been the home of the minor league team of the same name. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys next ah. offering is in for a strike the Cubbies with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the sixth. two down nobody on Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pop up right side foul territory drifts towards it tries to make the play but it's foul. Two outs. Ball and two. another ball. This guy's two a ball. fun guy to watch two taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. 2-2 two -two now. Ah. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets it. And welcome back. Back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses across out. the first. One up, one down. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. One and that more. one upstairs. That's towards center. And it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. And a foul ball. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The Dodgers up big in this one. Here, the top half of inning number seven. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Pitching change here, Keegan Thompson. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing, I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Corner. Over to Swanson. He turns it. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter. Two. Here's Cody Bellinger. Cody. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Alex Vesia. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone.
kicks and fires. That Whoa. misses the zone. And the count one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Edmund makes the grab. One away. Suzuki yeah. stands in now and watches strike one. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. One ball. One Base strike. is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. That one missed. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. Uh -huh. They're doing that right here. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Ian Hatt now at the plate. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Oh. And that's outside. Hey, that clips the inside corner. Two down, nobody on. My drive, base hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Here at Wrigley Field, we go to the eighth. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Here comes a pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the grab one away. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Base knock center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Waste no time there. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing. Corner. Fires to second for one, and it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no error. And we're back, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the DH, Mike Tockman. No. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. Messia, in his fourth year, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. And that's down, a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Bush in the box now. No balls in a strike. That one finds the corner. No balls, two strikes. When the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. The punch out there. One gone here. Well, that event seemed to be over yeah, as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. Yeah, You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to oh, foul yeah. something off. Extend that at bat. Swanson, batting with one down, takes a strike. Two. And a swing and a miss. Oh, two. The pitch. Oh, swing three. and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And at first... Now, Miguel Lamaya. And no, that one just misses. A ball One and out. no strikes. Ball and two. another ball. Tockman, the runner at first with two gone. And a foul ball. the middle and it gets through and it hits the base well from the time you're a little leaguer you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the no base problem. regardless no of how you hit it and he didn't make great contact but the effort was there and he earns the base hit and first offering is fouled off two on two outs and it's fouled away 
and a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Back here at the... Friendly confines. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Thompson back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Ground ball right side. Nice grab to his knee. The throw. It's there, and that's a great play. But he looks so comfortable making that play. Dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. Next is the designated hitter, Shohei Otani. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Brings it in. And there's two away. He's Safe at first, no play. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One hit, one left. Back now, now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Bruce Dar Grotter roll. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Left hand batter waits. That's a little bit low. Right handed reliever. And another ball. And here it comes. Good eye in that spot. Left hand hitter waits. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Payoff pitch. Ground ball up the middle, and that squirts through. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Nice and bad right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches made him really work out there on the mound. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Ball. Next pitch inside. Yeah, that's one one. If you're gonna get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's gonna look over the shoulder and say, "I'm just gonna keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much." Throw back in quickly. First and second. Now with nobody out. Here's the left fielder, Ian Hat. Foul ball there. First and second, no outs. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. 0-2 oh now as he swings through it. That no was ball. straight case right there. Oh, swing three. and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And up next for Chicago, Isak Paredes. And first offering is fouled off. The Cubs with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of inning number nine. Ouch. And now the DH, Mike Tockman. That really wasn't a bad pitch at all, but hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top ball, of the plate. No. Just missed. One ball, no strike. That one pulled foul. Bell on third, Suzuki on second, Paredes over at first, so going away. And a swing and a miss. Not sure exactly what he was thinking there. Good sinker ball pitcher goes with the fastball in a double play situation when he needs something on the ground. Hit on the ground might be two. Rojas for one. Ow! A double play to end it. 
key to this game was that huge sixth inning. They jumped all over the opposing pitching, and it was like they knew what was coming. And that kind of confidence just takes a team to the finish line, and that's what they did. They got the win in this game. 6 nothing is how this one ends. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Here now is our final line score.